What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. Today I'm going to be doing a very basic compositing breakdown of our aerial explosion render that we made in our last tutorial video inside of Blender. I will be showing you a very basic way you can add some glow to your explosion inside of the Blender compositor. Anyways guys, let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender and this is the node compositing setup I have here. Let's go ahead and go through it very quickly and I'll show you what I've done. All right, so we have two input renders. First, our explosion render and a black background that we are going to composite it on top of. This is a very simple setup. I've imported my OpenEXR sequence output, but this could also just be one of your render layers, for example, of your explosion. All right, so going through our setup here, the first thing we added was an RGB curve setting. Essentially what we did here is we've brought down the image a little bit so that our glow will be a little bit more prominent in our scene. As you can see, if we go bring it back to normal, we get something like this, which is a little bit too bright in my opinion, so I brought down the shadows as well as the highlights a little bit to give it a little bit more glowing result. The next thing I added was our three glare nodes. We've used the fog glow setting on them with a high quality option here. To add this glare effect, just press Shift A, and then you can go to Filter, and then Glare, and then you can change this to Fog Glow, and then change it to High. Then on these three glare settings, I've started with a low size glare, which is essentially similar to the radius inside of After Effects, and I've increased them over time. So the first glare node, I've made the size six, the second glare node, I've made the size seven, and the third glare node, I've made the size eight, kind of increasing the amount of glow throughout our composite. And then I've increased our threshold through each of these nodes as well. So I started with a threshold of 0.1, which is essentially the lowest you can get without brightening the whole image with a glow. Then the second layer, I've decreased the amount of pixels to add glow to by increasing the threshold to 0.2. And then I've once again increased the threshold to 0.3 on our third node to create this result. Of course, to output this, you need your composite node added to the end of your node setup. And then to view it with your black background, you can add a view node with this button right here. Anyways, guys, since I've imported an image sequence into the compositor, I can also scroll through different parts of the explosion to see what it looks like at different times. So this is one advantage of importing a sequence into your explosion versus trying to composite everything into a final output as you're rendering. But of course, all of these settings can be adjusted depending on the background you are adding things to. This is looking pretty cool. I didn't remap any color values like I did in After Effects because I feel the uh, hue and saturation option here, as you can see, isn't really as uh, detailed as the one inside of After Effects, but I'm sure you can do that as well if you'd like. Probably just put it right here, and of course you can composite with a mission pass as well. So perhaps I'll do a more in-depth compositing tutorial in the future once I figure out how to do that as well. But this is a pretty nice looking result. It's definitely better than seeing your explosion, for example, without any glow, just as it comes out in a render. It adds that realistic result, so I hope you like it. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below if you have any questions or suggestions. We hope you like the chaos add-on. There will be more tutorials coming soon on compositing as well as creating some awesome explosion variations. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time.